What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Future Goalkeeping. Hope you're all staying safe today. I'm gonna to be showing you some goalkeeping exercises that you can do in your house. So this first one is just gonna be working on your handling. You're just gonna be kicking the ball at a wall and then catching the rebound off the wall. Some of you might have a rebound net, so you can use that, but most people don't and everyone has a wall. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do it with a wall today, okay? Okay, so as you can see, you can either do it by throwing it at the wall and catching it, or kicking it at the wall and then catching the rebound. Kicking it at the wall is harder because after you've kicked it, you have to reset yourself and move your hands because they'll be down low and dropping the ball. You need to move your hands back up into that W shape to be able to catch it. Okay, so for this one, it's gonna be working on our footwork. We don't have any like shot stopping or anything here. You can use anything you want as a marker instead of a cone if you don't have any cones. Like for instance here, I've got steps I'm gonna be using. You can even go around them. You can go sideways over them. You can go forwards over them. Or you can do the hardest one, which is two steps forward and one step back. So now for this one, it's gonna be working on your ball control with your hands. So if you're confident enough, you can do this one. But if you're not confident enough yet, you can stick to the basics of moving the ball around the waist. And then you can switch direction. Okay, so you could either do a figure of eight around the legs, a circle around the waist, or scissor kicks and get the ball through your legs. The scissor kicks is the hardest one because it also works on your core as you need to hold your body still while you're moving your legs up and down and feeding the ball through your legs. Nowadays a goalkeeper also needs to be as good with their feet as they are with their hands in case of back passes because they need to stay composed under the pressure of the striker running towards them. So this one is the same as the handling of the wall but it's just you're passing it off the wall and then receiving it with your feet. You can either do this one touch or two touch. So that was one touch. Try using both feet with the one and two touch. Another exercise we can do to work on our core and our handling is sit-ups while throwing the ball at the wall and catching the rebound. Just make sure to release the ball as you're coming up and then catch it as you're about to go down. You can then advance this on so I'm diving either side by throwing it at the wall while still working on your core. Just make sure that you throw it either side of you so you can get diving both sides. As you're down one side, throw it at the wall so they rebound and goes the other side and then you've got to react in time to get across while that ball is travelling. You can advance that into kneeling and then standing, diving saves.
This time though, you need to throw it as you're set up because you won't be able to travel in time to get back up and then get back down if you've thrown it for when you've made the first save. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you stay a bit more active and do a bit more exercise and still working on your goalkeeping during quarantine and self-isolation. I hope you all stay safe. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment of any other videos you'd like to see and go follow us on our other social media accounts which are going to be linked in the description.